what is a program counter let me answer this question so a program counter or in short pc or instruction pointer that's commonly term used we call ip instruction pointer or instruction address register i a o or instruction counter this is the commonly used terms that are used for the program counter instruction counter so it is a special type of register which basically stores the address of an instruction that is to be executed next so let me elaborate for example let's say we have a program okay and this program has three instructions 1 2 and 3 and each instruction is of 32 bits or we can say each instruction is of 4 bytes so in instruction 1 i1 instruction 2 i2 instruction 3 i3 so this is our program so we have to execute this program and for executing a program one new man architecture or any other architecture says that we have to first store this program into memory then only we can execute it okay so the first job is to store these three instructions into memory so let's say we have this memory Let's say this is address, any address. Let's say eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and so on. Okay. So let's say the instruction I one is stored at address eight. So let's consider this is a byte addressable memory. Byte addressable memory. what does this mean this means that this address is for one byte so this location can store one byte okay but we know that an instruction is of four bytes this i1 is of four bytes so i1 will occupy four bytes it will start from address 8 and will end at address 11 then at 12 we will store i2 and it will also occupy four spaces 12 13 14 and 15 because it is also of four bytes then from address 16 we will store i3 16 17 18 19 okay so up to 19 from 8 address 8 to address 19 is our program this program with three instructions i1 i2 and i3 i1 starts from address 8 i2 starts from address 12 and i3 starts from address 16 now let's say my processor wants to execute this program okay so my processor has to get these three instructions i1 i2 and i3 from the memory and execute these instructions one after the another how it will execute these instructions inside a processor there is a special register which we called program counter whenever processor wants to execute some instruction it first gets the address of that instruction from the program counter so for executing this program the address in the program counter at start will be 8 okay because instruction i1 is stored at address it so processor will read program counter and from program counter it will get the address 8 so it will go to this location address 8 and processor knows that each instruction is of 
फोर बाइट्स सो इट विल रीड फोर बाइट्स सो बाइट एट बाइट नाइन टेन एंड इलेवन इट विल रीड दीज फोर बाइट्स एंड विल गेट एन इन स्ट्रक्शन एंड विल गेट एन इन स्ट्रक्शन फ्रॉम हियर इन स्ट्रक्शन आई ओके एट द सेम टाइम इट विल अपडेट द पीसी ओके सो नाउ द न्यू एड्रेस इन पीसी विल बी करंट एड्रेस प्लस फोर करंट एड्रेस इज एट प्लस फोर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व सो द न्यू वैल्यू इन पीसी विल बी ट्वेल्व एंड ट्वेल्व इज द एड्रेस ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन आई टू सो आर यू गेटिंग वाई आई एम एडिंग फोर हियर वी आर एडिंग फोर हियर बिकॉज every instruction is of 4 bytes now what is there in the pc there is 12 and we are executing instruction i1 so after executing instruction i1 which instruction should we execute we should execute i2 and where from we get will get the address of this instruction we will get from the program counter so from this discussion we can easily see that a program counter is a special type of register that stores the address of an instruction that is to be executed to be executed next and this program counter is updated after each instruction is executed and in general the updation rule is current program counter plus 4 okay for 32 bit instructions and byte addressable memory this is followed 8 plus 4 is followed in case of sequential execution however if there is some branch instruction then this program counter updates depends upon the branch target